All right. <laughs> it's with some reservation I show you what I'm going to do, but in my sincerity for full disclosure, I guess I will show you. Um, <laughs> I have a product here. Maybe I shouldn't show it. That's not the right one. <laughs> they come in similar bottles. Okay. This Lucas Heavy Duty Oil Stabilizer is the closest thing I've ever found to my father's old... Uh, now look at, look at the string that attaches to that. Can you see it there in the... Yeah, I know. Somebody's going to have a problem if they do this. Then they're going to blame me. And so I'm going to put the old uh, disclaimer in there. Look at that string. See how stringy that is? That's nasty. That reminds me of the old STP oil treatment. The cam lube. And I did that to my last two engines. And I did not lose the cam. That's not saying you won't. And I'm running the single heavy duty springs. I think on all of them. So... That first startup is critical. You don't even want to have the rocker arms bolted in and the push rods down. We're going to prime the whole oil system. We're going to pump it. We're going to rotate the starter with the spark plugs out and the rocker arms off till we have oil pressure. That means that nothing's going to be touching in here. And it won't be until after that that we put everything in, check the valve clearance, and then go for the first start. Just so you know. Now, instead of doing the Hail Mary distributor <laughs> drive gear drop, uh, I was talking to my friend Doug, and he was explaining to me how to do this with the engine together like this, or apart, however you want to take it. Okay, so what you want to do is you line up your, your dots on your timing on your camshaft. I'm going to bring the cam and crank timing dots into play. Here they come. Okay. Now, there is only, you can't get this wrong because there is no dot showing on the cam gear. So, and you'll, I don't know if you can see it, but the distributor is turning just like it would. So now we come around again the second time and voila, we have the three dots. The cam gear is between, I've already got this oiled up, next thing I do is put the case halves together. So, with the case, with the dots lined up, just like that, then you rotate your case, watch everything fall out. <laughs> you rotate your case, give yourself a little bit of room, you don't want things to fall out, you want to get this distributor area, if you don't feel like doing this, fine, don't do it! Do what I'm talking about here. Maybe that'll help. Everything's at a slight angle now. Now you can drop your washers in and you can put your distributor drive gear and you can turn it and you can see it. There's the two washers. You have two spacers that have to go in first. Then, don't put them on with the distributor drive gear. You've got to put those spacers in first. There should be at least two of them. Then you put the distributor drive gear with the short side slot facing towards us. Then you can put your distributor in with the number one mark and you can point the distributor and everything should line up. Now this is just all going to hold it together and that part is done as well before we put the case halves together. That way if you drop the washer or you have any issues you can retrieve it because you're right there. It's a bummer if you lose track of those washers and if you don't get things centered up just right and you gotta put some oil on there and you still have to center it when you get it in the right spot it just drops in. I struggled with it. This is the first time I've done it this way. I ain't undoing it just to show you. What else did I have a bitch with? I had a bitch of a time getting the dang crankshaft in there. <laughs> I couldn't get... and then I got it all together and I forgot the washer this this convex washer that goes on the front <laughs>
<laughs> it wasn't even on there. I finally had everything set and just perfect. It was like, oh crap, I'm gonna go inside and answer a few comments and get away from this I'm gonna beast. do the case drop. You've seen me do that before. <laughs> I don't have time to, to show you every little detail of everything. There's tons of good videos on there. I just got my uh, washers, washers, O-rings. This is what seals the case has. You don't have to put RTV and stuff on the nuts that, the six main nuts that do the, these. When you put it together, you don't have to worry about them. Put the Teflon side up if you're using the acorn style. Let's see if I have one sitting here, I should. If you're putting these nuts on, these are the ones I like because they they use a 19 millimeter socket. They're larger and you can increase the torque. If you saw the other day I was doing the 2110, it had these nuts on it. So I was taking the case torque up to 25 pounds. So I'm thinking it's looking pretty sexy laying there like that. And I'm going to turn you off. Go find some cotton balls and alcohol. Do one last wipe. I'm going to put a ultra thin coat. You don't have to goop the aviation sealer on. A thin light coat. You shouldn't have it just oozing into the case. Use whatever you want. Because if it's your engine, do what you want. If you're building an engine for somebody else, you probably know what you'd like. So, end of story. Have you done your yoga today?